Welcome back, everyone. In today's video, we're diving deep into the incredible techniques behind building modern Swiss stone houses, those small, slanted roof homes tucked halfway into the hillsides with stunning infinity pools. You've seen their cozy charm and sleek design, but have you ever wondered how they're actually built? From foundations carved into steep slopes to handcrafted stone walls and energy-efficient interiors, there's a lot more than meets the eye. We'll walk you through every stage, from excavation to final touches. Whether you're a design lover, a builder, or just dreaming of your own hillside hideaway, this is one video you won't want to miss. Part 1, Foundation and Site Preparation, Building a half-buried stone house on a hillside begins with precise land surveying. The slope angle must be measured accurately to ensure structural balance. Engineers use topographic data to determine where the house will be partially embedded. This helps with insulation, drainage, and anchoring the structure. The site is then cleared of vegetation and loose rocks. Excavation begins on the uphill side for the buried half. A stepped or terraced foundation is used to match the slope of the land. This method reduces the need for massive retaining walls. Reinforced concrete footings are poured deep into the hillside for stability. These footings distribute the house's weight and prevent erosion or sliding. Engineers may add steel rebar cages for seismic resistance. Drainage pipes are also embedded beneath to prevent groundwater buildup. Once the ground is stabilized, the lower retaining walls are constructed. These walls are typically made of reinforced concrete or concrete block faced with natural stone. The back side, in contact with the earth, is waterproofed using bitumen or rubber membrane. Insulation panels are added outside the waterproofing to improve energy efficiency. A perforated pipe runs along the base to collect and redirect water. This prevents hydrostatic pressure behind the wall. The slanted roof must be factored into the structural footprint early on. Its angle should allow for effective snow or rain runoff. Steel or timber roof framing is pre-designed to match the slope and load. Where the house meets the hill, flashing and sealant layers are added to prevent leaks. This connection between roof and earth is one of the most delicate parts. It requires precise craftsmanship and inspection. The exposed part of the house must sit firmly on the same foundation system. This keeps the buried and above ground have structurally united. Engineers avoid discontinuities in the concrete pour between the two parts. The transitions are reinforced with steel mesh or bars. This prevents differential settlement, which could crack the house over time. The unity of structure is vital to durability. The site must include utility conduits for water, electricity, and wastewater. Since part of the house is underground, special care is taken to waterproof cable and pipe entry points. Water lines are sloped to avoid freezing in winter climates. Septic systems or pumps are added if the slope doesn't allow gravity-fed drainage. Everything is inspected before the next construction phase begins. Early mistakes here are hard to fix later.
A small infinity pool may be installed at the front, requiring reinforced edge construction. The pool's weight and water pressure are factored into the soil load. Engineers build the infinity edge to drain into a lower reservoir, often hidden beneath a wooden deck. A pump system recirculates the water silently. The pool is lined with waterproof concrete and sealed with stone or tile. Its placement also reinforces the house's connection to the landscape. Once excavation, drainage, and foundation are complete, the house site is regraded. Native plants or stone retaining features help prevent erosion. A gentle slope away from the exposed part ensures water drains safely. This stage may include footpaths, small terraces, or steps carved from stone. At this point, the house looks like a sculpted void within the hill. The structural shell is now ready for walls and roofing. Stone walls, roofing, and structural integration, the primary walls are built using thick stone or concrete faced with stone veneer. Locally sourced Swiss stone helps the home blend into its environment. These walls provide insulation, mass, and fire resistance. On the buried side, the walls are double-layered for waterproofing. On the exposed side, stone is laid in traditional dry stack or mortar techniques. Both structural and aesthetic needs are balanced in this phase. Masonry walls are reinforced with vertical and horizontal steel bars. Every few feet, Bond beams or tie columns connect the stonework to the concrete structure. Corners and openings require special detailing to avoid cracking. Builders use metal lintels above doors and windows for load distribution. The outer stone is sealed to reduce moisture absorption. In alpine regions, frost protection layers may be added behind the walls. Interior insulation is often installed between a structural wall and a decorative stone finish. This preserves the thermal mass of the stone while keeping interiors warm. Rigid foam, rock wool, or even cork can be used depending on eco goals. Electrical conduits and plumbing are embedded behind panels or in floor ducts. This avoids piercing the stone unnecessarily. Every detail aims for compact, efficient integration. The slanted roof is a major visual and structural element. It's built with laminated timber beams or steel framing. The roof pitch is designed for alpine snow loads and optimal runoff. On top, waterproof membranes and insulation boards are laid. Finally, metal or stone shingles are added, matching the house's materials. The slope is also ideal for adding discrete solar panels.
Skylights or clear story windows are often included to bring light deep into the buried parts. These openings are framed with steel and sealed with multi-layer glazing. Angles must be precise to avoid thermal leaks or rain intrusion. When placed properly, they also assist passive ventilation. Many tiny houses rely on this kind of integrated light strategy. It keeps the interiors bright and breathable. Inside the house, wooden beams are exposed to create warmth and character. Local pine or oak is commonly used, treated for durability. The ceilings follow the roof angle, enhancing spatial feel. Lighting is recessed into beams or hidden in wall niches. The mixture of stone and wood creates a calm, grounded aesthetic. Every design element reflects both tradition and modern needs. The floor system typically uses concrete slab insulated from below. For warmth, radiant floor heating is embedded during pouring. Natural stone or wood plank finishes are laid over it. Floors are sloped slightly for drainage in wet areas. The underground part of the floor has additional vapor barriers. This prevents rising damp or mold issues in the long term. The integration between the underground and aboveground halves must feel seamless. Visual tricks like continuous stone walls, floor alignment, and matching materials help this. Interior transitions are softened with lighting, color, and texture changes. Builders ensure no cold joints exist between segments. Doors and openings are framed symmetrically to create balance. The goal is to make the home feel like one unified space, not two halves. Interior systems, sustainability, and final touches, interior layouts are designed for ultra-efficiency due to the tiny size. Built-in furniture like benches, shelves, and fold-out tables are common. Storage is integrated under stairs, inside walls, or under beds. Lighting uses LED strips recessed into wood or stone. Natural materials are preferred for healthy indoor air. Everything is measured and custom fitted to avoid wasted space. The kitchen uses modular or custom cabinets designed for tight spaces. A two burner stove, compact fridge, and pull out counters maximize function. Plumbing is hidden in stone or wooden panels. Surfaces are often stone composite or treated wood. Ventilation is ensured through small extractor fans and windows. Every inch is optimized without clutter. The bedroom is often partially underground, providing natural insulation and silence. Low ceilings are offset by warm lighting and soft textures. Bedding is chosen to match the stone's cool tones, often in wool or linen. A narrow window offers a glimpse of the landscape or stars. Built-in nightstands and wall lighting reduce floor clutter. The vibe is cocoon-like and peaceful.
Bathrooms are compact but elegant. Showers may be walk-in with glass partitions. Toilets are wall-mounted to save space, with hidden cisterns. Sinks are stone or ceramic, often on floating wooden shelves. Drainage and waterproofing are critical due to the underground setting. Everything is designed to stay dry and easy to clean. Ventilation and air quality are major priorities in buried homes. Heat recovery ventilation HRV, systems bring fresh air without losing heat. Dehumidifiers or air exchangers are also installed where needed. Passive ventilation is enhanced through window placement. All this ensures a healthy, mold-free interior. Smart thermostats control heating efficiently. Many homes include sustainable features like solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and composting toilets. The stone structure provides thermal mass, reducing temperature swings. Triple glazed windows cut energy loss. Local materials reduce transport footprint. Builders aim to meet Swiss Minergy or Passive House standards where possible. Final finishes include sealing all stonework, oiling wood surfaces, and polishing hardware. Window frames are painted or treated to match the landscape. Exterior lighting is added subtly along paths or walls. Plants may be added to the roof or terraces for green cover. Every finish is chosen for harmony with the hillside. The home appears to grow from the earth itself. The completed house is a blend of ancient material and modern design. Its small footprint hides a world of engineering precision. Each one is tailored to its unique slope, soil, and sun angle. These homes are not just shelters, they are carved into the mountain. They offer protection, warmth, and connection to nature. In every sense, they are timeless. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed exploring the hidden craftsmanship behind these tiny Swiss hillside homes. If you found this video inspiring or learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who loves smart architecture. Your support helps us keep creating meaningful content like this. Feel free to leave a comment, we'd love to hear what kind of house you'd build on a hill. Until next time, stay cozy and creative.